Hey there, gamers all around! Welcome, welcome! And here we are in this war of mine. I really, really like this. So, yeah, I'm playing this game again. Uh, I'm sorry if it's boring or, you know, not as entertaining as some of my other games that I play. Like Niche, or Banish, and Crossout, or Robocraft even. But I like this game in particular. I, I think it's just because it's a, it's a survival game. So here I am trying to cook for everybody, and then I realize I don't have any filters. Then I'm checking to make sure that everybody's status isn't too bad. And I'm seeing that they are very, they are all very hungry. So I decided to go ahead and satisfy that and make some filters while I'm at it. And I realized I had some books that I could use for some fuel. That's what I was trying to trying to use fuel, not filters. Filters is for meant for water. Um, so here I am. I'm making I'm making fuel. And I'm checking everybody's status. Like I, I, I like survival games in particular. So you know, I, I play a lot of survival games. That's my genre. Like everybody has like their genre, their preferred genre of games. You know, it, and no one has the same preferred genre as you know anybody else. You know, they all have their different preferred genre. So you know, my preferred genre is survival. So I like games like This War of My Niche, Banished, although that's more of a tycoon simulation game. You know, I, I like survival type of games, so I'm gonna play a lot of survival games. So here I am, I'm making sure that I have stuff. I'm making sure that I have enough enough stuff. Then I make a bed, because I know I need another bed, because I only have one. So I bring it back down right next to the other bed that I have. And I have Katia run down there. And then I have Bruno. I had Bruno eat. So then I had him take a look at what else I could buy or what else I could build. But then someone came knocking on the door. Then I came up and then I noticed there was two children. Though I don't have the little ones DLC, I still have kids in this game. So, you know, I go up to the door, help, you know, and help their mother who needs medications. They only need one set of medications, so usually they would ask for two, but if you only have one, you can only give them one. So I, I let them, I, I, I gave them medicine because, you know, they're little kids. When I was a kid, you know, I mean, we don't talk about real life, but, <laughs> you know, so, other than, I, I'll just, I'll just, I just say this. I, I know with the little kids. I mean, I know this is just a video game, but I know, I know what the kids feel like. If like that, that were to happen in real life, you know. I mean, so uh, that's why I like doing that. So I, I made, I had K Katia eat, and then I had her take a look at you know what was available for me to build, and I decided to build a filter. So I can make more water. And then I had Pavle, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I had Pavle eat because he wasn't tired. He was sick and wounded. So that's why he was laying down in bed. He was trying to recover. Which is always good. You know, when, especially when you're slightly sick. Like, my advice to you would be if any of your characters are slightly sick and you're playing this game, do not use... Like, don't waste medicine. Like, go go to bed. Go to bed for one whole day. Like, if you're wounded, you can use bandage. Like, you know, because you're, you're bleeding. You know, you, this is what the character, character is. And I realized I had a lot of sugar cubes, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some stuff. You know, and then I realized, wait a minute, she's tired. So I had Pavle go back up to the chair, then I had Katia go sleep. First I, first I make a crowbar. I make a crowbar because I, I know I, I kind of need one. I was, taking the, I was taking a look to see how many items I have. 
And I like having enough equipment for either everybody to use or a plus one extra. So that way I can use the extra for trading purposes. So that way, you know, when, you know, the trading guy comes, I can, I, I, I can ha offer him a crowbar or a shovel, which he might find useful. Or, no, he won't, might find it useful. He will find it useful, you know, because then he'd be like, ah, oh, very generous of you, you know. So, that's, that's why I, you know, like doing that. You know, that's why I make the, the alcohol, the drinking alcohol, so, you know, I can use that for training purposes. If I, you know, I, I, I was going down the stairs to see, okay, how much do I need for radio, how much, how many components do I need for rainwater collector. I didn't realize I already had a radio. Till the next day, but you know, it is what it is. So I run up and I try to see how much, how much components, how much stuff do I need to improve my stove? Because I know that's the thing I need to get done over the first week of the gameplay. You know, I try to try to get anything that I need to get done done within the first week. Like, cause like I know the. the, the in the the prisoner like the in, in break of war or the the in, like I, I forget what it, what it is but like the the breakage of war lots of people come to raid you and they are very intense so you know let's say like you know being prepared within the first week because then it, if if it comes like day 11 here I am just waiting for someone to come up onto the door. I can uh, skip all this with the use of magic. Alright, so Musician never reveals his secrets. Technically her secrets. But, uh, wh whatever. Anyway, so here I am. I'm planning the night. I'm saying, okay, KTI, you scavenge. Bruno, you guard. Pavle, you guard. I like having two people guard. Because it makes me feel safer. And it makes things a lot easier for me. So anyways, um, here I go, and I'm trying to remember where I want to go. Pardon me, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I want to go, and I guess I didn't really, you know, remember where I wanted to go, so I just picked the ruined block of flats, which I forgot that I needed a chainsaw, saw blade. Yeah, that's what it's called in the, in the game. Saw blade is te technically a chainsaw. Well, well, the old version of a chainsaw, not necessarily a chainsaw, because chainsaw you need to get plugged in, and it has like jagged teeth, and whatever. And saw blade is just the you know old-fashioned version of the s chainsaw, but it, it's just one blade cut through anything basically, cut through wood or, you know, whatever. So then here I am trying to decide what do I want to bring with me, so I decided to take the ammunition parts with me anyways, even though if I'm not upgraded enough in my education area. The broken toy, that teddy bear you see, that broken toy is good for trade too. I found out playing the, playing the game, because like, Unless you have the little ones DLC, bro the broken toy isn't very useful. Unless you're trying to trade with, you know, the training guy that comes like every other day or so. Um, so, like, he will let you trade with the broken toy. Unless you have Little Ones DLC, in which case, if you are a ch if you're playing as a kid, then you can build something like you can build toys with a broken toy. <laughs> so I forgot that you needed a saw blade for this area, so I just took what I could and basically ran out because. You know, I don't have a lot of 
you know, empty into empty slots in my in my character because of the character that I'm playing. Like, so I decided just to run back, and then I decided to do something a little different, which was usually I like doing one day, one night, but recently I've been I've been liking to play, or I've been wanting to play two nights, two days for this war of mine, just because. I like playing like like that's my playing style. I like I like play, play, playing out like two nights, two days. Just makes things easier on me. It, ma it makes the game go by a little faster than one day, one night. So yeah, I'm not uploading like 40 or like 100 videos of this episode or this game. Because I'm pretty sure that, like, not everybody... Like, this isn't everybody's taste. And I get that. Like, it's not everybody's game. Um, I mean, especially when it first came out with, you know, here I am. I, I don't realize I already had a radio. So I, I click on the radio and I'm like, why can't I make that? And then I, and then I see you have one at the very top. And I'm like, oh, well, I already had a radio. But anyway, so I... I, I kind of make I, I make a filter. I try to see if I can make another rainwater collector, but then I really, I found out that I couldn't. So I made, then I make a filter. I make some water. I make some more more alcohol, more drinking alcohol. You know, and I, I, you know, I just I was trying to survive basically. I mean that's the premise of any survival game. You just survive. Like don't starve. This war of my niche banished, although that's more of a tycoon simulator. <laughs> you know, I, I I like those types of you know survival games. It's my genre. <laughs> um, genre that I like to play. So I, I this is when I in game I saw that I have 32 sugar cubes. And I'm like, oh wow, I have a lot of sugar cubes. I can make a lot of you know drinking alcohol. So. I go and make that, and I try to see if I can make anything else. Character expresses that he's tired, and I realize I only had ten components left, so I decided not to make anything because I wanted to save the components for upgrading the stove or upgrading something. So that way, you know, I can, you know, improve workshop, the, you know, especially the workshop itself, because, like, once you improve the workshop, you can start building boards. Once you start building boards, less people will raid you, because th then they wouldn't be able to get inside. So, you know, I decided, you know, I'm just going to wait it out, let my character sleep, and then once the night comes, I have Katia go out exploring. That was my original plan, but I done goofed up this one. I didn't bother looking at the plan the night area. Like I'll skip to it. I'll show you because it's much it's much better to show you than to talk about it. See here here's what I mean. I didn't bother looking into the plan the night area and change who's who's scavenging, who's guarding. I didn't bother doing that. I just I just clicked on um the the squat area and then I, I hit prepare. I didn't even bother checking to make sure somebody stays behind and guards and change. Because, like, the fast runner is good on combat. Pavle is good on combat. You know, so... That's why I have him guard, usually. But this time, I forgot to plan the night. I just clicked prepare. Because I, I, here I am reading. And, I, and then I, I just... I, I was trying to see what's the difference between the squat and the ruined villa. Then I, I went to the squat, and then I, I, I clicked prepare. I didn't even bother checking who's guarding, who's sleeping, you know, so I got goofed. I didn't even see, um, Pablo's face and be like, oh, wait a minute, I done goofed up. I just I completely 
to I did prepare a scavenge, you know, and I'm gone and everybody else is sleeping in bed. And then as soon as I as I started scavenging, I'm like, oh crap, I didn't I didn't set Pavle up to go guard. You know, because then I realized I'm playing as Pavle, not as Katia. And then I'm like, oh crap. Ah, so anyways, he's thanking me for giving him food. Um, that's the end of the video. I know I done goofed. There's consequences for when you done goof in this game. That's why I like this game. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this game. Hope you had a great day. Over and out. Gave away all I had. My mind was full of my, my mistake. I've been too fragile to throw my life. I'm missing you so bad Don't know if I should call you back You know it's getting dark inside my head